our first impression about Leon, Mexico, our first visit to this part of Mexico. Jerry Brown here with Jerry Brown Travels. Lori here. Hey, Lori, where are we at now? Well, we at Leon. Leon, Mexico, that is. And Leon is like from Lake Chapala, Ajiji. It's about a four hour drive. No, actually, I think it was, what, what, it was about three and a half hours, wasn't it? Yeah, it's about three and a half hour drive. Yeah, and so uh, these are our impressions about how we felt about it. Lori, when we came in, how did you feel about you know? Well, what? when we came in, I would think it's nothing impressive about Leon. So it's just a small, you know, street and very tiny and, and traffic and things like that. Just like uh, every other town. Yeah, Mexico. When you're when you're, you know, around driving in Mexico, and you go through these little towns, they basically look the same. But wait till the end of this video, and we're going to give you the rest of the story on how we really felt about Leon and uh, what our impressions are. So hold on, we've got a video here. In this video, we're going to take you around to places like like in the market. We're going to do, go to the market. We're going to also we're going to look at like beautiful colonial buildings like behind us here we're going to also look at they have a beautiful uh government palace building here there's churches around that uh we're going to show you different things around this colonial town so stay tuned for this video and let us know uh how you like it and what your comments are at the very end of the video after you've watched it Another thing we'd like to say, hey, how about subscribing right now? Don't waste any time. Hit that little subscribe button down at the bottom right hand and you'll subscribe. And don't forget to turn on your notifications, okay? Okay, so let's go on this little uh, uh, day tour and give you our impressions of what Leon looks like to us. Yes. Okay, okay. let's go. go. Just stay with me and we'll take a look at uh, what this Leon looks like here. Looks like a procession of students crossing behind there. Okay, so let's go look at some churches, some cathedrals, some parks. Okay, let's start this tour. Walking through the main gate, the Arch of Triumph, and this will lead us into the beautiful historical part of Lyon. Now here is the main square, and this is a beautiful view of the square. You can see the trees, the cathedrals in the background, and also the Mexican flag flying high and proud. Now we'll come on ground level here in the main square. Here is the government building decorated beautifully. And also, I want to show you this beautiful cathedral. I would like this to be a slow, simple process just to soak in the beauty of this beautiful, beautiful architectural sculpture so beautifully done and amazing because of its height and its size. The stained glass pieces inside are magnificent. Here and outside in the park where we see the trees nicely groomed so I just want this to be a slow, simple experience visualizing this beautiful building. I'm going to guess that it's over 40 feet high. It's a Gothic style architecture. Now let's step inside here. Now you'll be able to see behind the altar is the stained glass. Beautifully done as we get higher and higher 
And then look at the magnificent design of the ceiling. Look at the arches, how they are put together. Everything is done by hand. Remember this, hand craftsmen. This is way before you had the modern uh, tools and conveniences of architectural design today. This is such a beautiful, magnificent piece. I just feel so confident that you will enjoy it as much as I have showing it to you today. Well, as we were strolling around, we saw this beautiful fountain with the lion's heads on it. It was so beautiful. We were so impressed, we decided to come back in the afternoon to see what it looked like. And here, the water's flowing. It's just beautiful. And we decided to come back at night to look at it with the colors. We we're so excited about it. We wanted it to share it with you so you can see all three times what it looks like. Such a beautiful relaxing area of Mexico. Now we're going to stroll a little bit around the plaza here and see the night scene and what it's all about. And that's where they He's make, the He's a Mexican bread. <laughs> that's this gentleman here that owns the panaderia. Uh, it's a Mexican bread. Mexican, Mexican bread, pan, yeah. huh? Yeah. And it's very, it, very good. Very good. Yeah. And, you, and you have some beautiful cakes here that you yeah. make. Look yeah. here. Look down here at these beautiful cakes. Wow, it's beautiful. It looks so yummy. So uh, what, what I've done here is I pick up a tin and you pick up some little uh, things here. <laughs> and then you come around here to where all the goodies are at. Yeah. And so what you do is you load up your uh, your tray with whatever you want. Like this. And uh, see what else I want down here. Maybe something here. Like this. And then... Ooh, this look pretty good over here. Uh, pina? Apple. Pina? Apple. 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 Manzana. Okay, I gotta have that. And so, this is the panaderia, so I'm gonna check out here, pay him, and then he's going to wrap this all up for me. You gotta do uh, Mexican panaderia. They're sort of fading out, you don't see very many of them, so I'm taking advantage of this. I'm gonna give him 100 pesos. It's 30 to 50. 100 pesos worth about $5.50. Well, here Lori waves at us, welcoming in the year 2020. Now, we want to show you this mural here. It's such a beautiful mural, and it's amazing because Mexico thinks in big, bold architectural design, and this mural here 
portrays the struggle and the battles that they had to go through for their independence. So they have freedom today. These murals are around the town and they're just so beautiful to see. I want you to see the beautiful architectural feature of the building in the background and also take note of the trees. They're sculptured and very beautiful. It's a very peaceful place to come and sit. Now we'll step into the hotel that we stayed at right in the central part of the historical district. It is a must to stay in the central part. We only paid $40 a night here. Well, we have more to show you here, so we're, uh, uh, don't give up. We have a lot of interesting to see in this beautiful little quaint city here. You know, it's interesting about Lyon, a lot of people don't realize how beautiful it is here, and they don't even come here. When I was doing a little research, I looked on YouTube, and there wasn't any uh, any videos about Lyon. And we're just, it's just beautiful here. It's around Christmas time. And uh, this is the interesting thing about traveling in Mexico. When you have the time to get these little, small little cities that aren't popular, and you, they're colonial cities too, and so they have beautiful architecture. They have a lot of beautiful uh, hacienda style homes or colonial style buildings here. So step away from your comfort zone and come to little places like this. I know you'll appreciate it. Yeah, most of the people, they only come here to shop like one night and the next day they return home. They not even see the historical part, yeah. but this is gorgeous historical part. And look at the building. It's all, all could be a hundred, hundred years ago. All the architect was so beautiful. Yeah, and that's an excellent point, Lori, that they go in, they just go into a mall and they shop and they miss the beautiful part of, of uh, Mexico that we love so much. So, uh, okay. Okay. So follow, all the followers, follow us to see more of Leon. Can you imagine getting your shoes shined in a park? In the United States, Canada, those years are long, long gone. People just don't sit around and relax and just enjoy a nice day at the park, maybe reading or walking, seeing friends and families. Mexico is a special place and Leon is a very special place. Look at the Mexican flag flying here high, just very beautiful landscaping, the greens, the parks, everything is so beautiful. There are so many interesting buildings here to see. Now right across the street here, this one here, let's take a look at it here. It's really beautiful. Okay, so let's take a look at what it looks like here. As I walk around, this gives you an idea of what I'm looking at. Just beautiful architecture, stuff that is like 200 years old. It's really pretty. So maybe you're getting tired of seeing churches and cathedrals, but I want you to see this, something that hasn't been shown in a long time. This couple here are walking on their knees and here's where they're walking to. As I turn the camera around and they are walking on their knees, praying for special indulgences, special favors and they're crawling all the way up to the main altar here in this magnificent cathedral with the opulence and the money and all of the wealth that has been poured into this church here. And they are very simple people who are trying to ask for a blessing for their lives. It's really great. They have these pedestrian walkways. No cars are allowed, no traffic. You just have people walking, very fun, sitting, enjoying themselves, and just no cars, just walking. And also stop here, 
get something to eat, enjoy the evening break. This is what we're going to do. We're going to get some food right now ourselves. What do you eat, Lori? Udon noodle. At okay. Korean restaurant in Lyon. So here we come to Lyon, Mexico, and we're having Korean food. Okay. Let's take a look, Eric. Well, what do you think, no, no. people? Does that look good? Give me your comment. Mmm, yummy. Well, you've watched the video. Now we're going to give you our impressions, how we like it or we didn't like it. Well, what about you, Lori? I was say, wow, when you get into the town, it was so beautiful that my impression, I see all these old buildings, you know, all the park was nice and clean and I love it. The colonial buildings around here are just fantastic. This is a small little, little city compared to big cities like Guadalajara, Mexico City and all that. And most people pass up this place here, but definitely put it on your list of coming into Mexico. We were super impressed uh, with everything here. The beautiful fountains, the large churches, the beautiful architect, the trees, the plazas, they have these beautiful trees, huh, Lori? Oh, yeah, yeah. This, this tree is just gorgeous. Huh? They cut just like a mushroom. I love it. Yeah, they shape them so nice. So all in all, I would say we would say this is a great place to come and visit. Yeah, if you plan to come to visit here, at least give you three to four days to visit this area. And very nice. And the hotel is very reasonable price. Yeah, and in fact, if you go to Guanajuato, that's one, a place a lot of people go to. It's only about an hour away from Guanajuato. Even if you just spend one day as a day trip from Guanajuato to come here, do it. And But get in the central area because you can walk We on a day here and that'll give you a flavor of it if you don't have the much, that much time to spend you know, a few days here. And the other thing that we have done here is we got leather goods. We bought some leather coats and we bought ourselves some leather stuff. And we have a video on that about shopping here for leather goods and uh, check that one out because this is the leather capital of Mexico. And I know that you'll enjoy that video. So we appreciate you and thank you very much. And again, thanks again for subscribing. See Adios. you next video. See you next video. Adios. Well, stay tuned to see our bloopers, our mistakes, all the stuff we messed up on. Going crazy here. All the things that happen behind the scenes. And we want to show them to you. We hope you enjoy it. Like that, the architect was still nice and clean. And... I'm very impressed. I, I can't believe it. It's just like go to Twilight Zone. To where? Twilight Zone. Twilight Zone. I sound <laughs> like she said the toilet zone. <laughs> 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 boom, 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 boom. <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, okay. Do it again. Okay. Jerry Brown here. No, I didn't do that. Okay. Well. You've watched the video. Now we're going to give you our impressions on how we like it. And, uh, okay, let's do it again. Well, you've watched the video. Now we're going to give you. Well, that's all that we have, folks. Not much, not very many bloopers. We want to show you more of Mexico, more places to travel, more places to live, how to live cheap in Mexico. All you need to do is subscribe to our channel. See down at the bottom right? Just subscribe. And also, don't forget, turn on your notifications. That's important.